Wednesday's turf steak at Saratoga is the Lena Spencer. It's also $70,000. It's five and a half furlongs for fillies and mares over the melon turf. And I uh, can't tell you there's a new plot here. Uh, Linda Rice has an entry, and uh, there are uh, a couple of, uh, couple of who are going to try to uh, get in the middle of that mix. Uh, let's start with Rice's entry. Uh, one horse that I think has a serious shot here is Avi's Destiny. She comes out of a win in a, in a common race at a lot of these eggs at the Finney here earlier in the meet. Um, she can rate some, uh, which is going to do her a, some good in, in, a, in a field packed with this much quality speed. Uh, she does like being up close, and uh, one of the strong points uh, to recommend her is that she is 4 for 5 at Saratoga. She's also 8 for 16 at this distance on turf, lifetime. Uh, she's a, a serious runner. Uh, Karakorm Electra, another part of the Rice group. It probably will be scratching for a state-bred slot later in the meet. Uh, Canadian Ballet, multiple stakes uh, winner at the trip for Rice. Uh, she just missed in a grade three last time, finishing second by a neck. So this is a drop down for her off a great effort. Uh, she's a New York bred, uh, so that, that counts for even more in my mind that she came that close in a, in a grade three. She's going to be on or close to the lead. She's starting in the next outside post position. That's a very favorable trip. And, uh, you know, she's maybe a, a quarter of a, of a cut below Avi's destiny in quality. There's not much to separate the two of them. There are some non-rice horses in here who bear watching. I think the best of those is Smart and Fancy. Smart and Fancy is versatile. She's accomplished. She's a multiple stakes winner. Uh, she just missed in the Finney after a, a, a really tough trip where she broke kind of slowly and then got shuffled back even further and came wide and uh, with, with a ferocious late run, uh, nearly getting there. She likes to be mid-pack, which uh, I, I'm not necessarily crazy about that style because I think the race will be won from just off the pace. But if it really develops into a speed duel, she has a solid chance. Uh, she will take quite a bit of money, but uh, she's uh, worth following. Uh, the, the other horse that I think has uh, a shot in here uh, at a price is Trusty Temper. She's a sophomore. Uh, the rest of these are older, uh, so she has that disadvantage. She comes in off two easy stakes wins on dirt. She's only raced six times in her life. Uh, one of those was a, a air. She just aired a, a turf group, uh, a little allowance race. Um, she has tremendous speed. She's on the outside, so that means she'll get a good trip against these. Uh, you know, you don't want to fall into the uh, Linda Rice can't lose a, a turf sprint race. Uh, she is only 26% uh, in her turf sprints, although that number is reduced by the phenomena we see here where she enters two or three horses in, in most of the turf sprints. <laughs> so her, uh, her horses win at 26%, but she probably wins at more like 40 or 45%. So... Uh, again, if you want to beat Rice, there are two horses in here. If you really like Rice, she has two serious shots.